Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Sky Knight. You ever decided to take on a project, maybe fiddle with something, and you were sure that it would be a quick change? And it turned out to be one of the longest things you feel like you've ever had to do. I recently decided to uh, basically rebuild my uh, home server uh, from scratch. I, uh, I didn't like running Ubuntu on it. Uh, I wanted to switch to Debian as well as uh, I was running some um, VMware virtual machines on it. And I figured, hey, I'm on Linux. Why not just use, you know, QEMU with KVM? So turned on my entire server, my Nextcloud instance, my uh, Plex server, my uh, Pi-hole server, my Qubit Torrent server, the the whole nine yards just basically got rid of it, built it all from scratch again. Finally got it done about two and a half days later, what I thought was going to be, you know, maybe a, a night, a night of work. Turned out to be about 20 hours of work because I kept messing things up and uh, learning along the way. So I guess that was nice. I know a hell of a lot more of how to set up a, a virtual machine via, you know, command line now with the uh, vert install command, uh, which actually brings me to the point of these videos. I uh, serendipitously had a comment kind of requesting uh, to go over my setup, how I install and uh, get virtual machines running. It was specifically for vert manager uh, that will be coming. This is going to be a video on how to set up your virtual machines via command line with KVM, QEMU, and yeah, let's get into it. Oh, before I forget, um, this bottle was a hell of a lot fuller when I started this whole project, uh, like two, two and a half days ago. Uh, it is uh, Dewar's, Dewar's, I'm not entirely sure how it's pronounced. It's a blended scotch, Caribbean cask. It's terrible. I, it's terrible. I hate it. I would not recommend this to anyone. Uh, even if you're a really big fan of rum. I mean, it was only like 20 bucks, so... What are you going to do? Then again, you know, the uh, the whiskey I had featured uh, a couple nights ago, the, oh, what the fuck was it? A white label something. It was like 16 bucks, but that's great. But yeah, we're going to be finishing this off tonight. And in case I still have a craving for more, we're going to go with some trusty old uh, Wild Turkey 101. Just a nice classic bourbon. Okay, let's get into it. All right, and here we are in my uh, Debian virtual machine. I actually bumped up a lot of the, uh, I guess, hardware with it. Uh, the specs, the specifications for this. I bumped up the hardware specs for this. We run a NeoFetch. Uh, we'll see that I actually upgraded it to 16 gigs of RAM because I'm going to be, you know, running the virtual machines on this virtual machine. Uh, that should be possible because this is running through KVM QEMU, so should be fine. It's running host pass through, uh, and now we are showing the actual CPU as my full uh, Ryzen 9 5900X, so shouldn't be a problem there either. All right, uh, let's get into the actual installation of this then. Okay. And for this, it's, it's way too much for me to remember, so I'm going to have to actually go off the, uh, the Debian instructions here. Uh, so I just Google Debian KVM. And there are a couple of things that I found out that we're going to need, so I'll go over those when we get there. Okay. And we're going to try to do a... Uh, we're first going to do a... Uh, basically a headless install of these servers. So there'll be no graphical interface. Uh, everything will be accessed through the terminal. Terminal, 
uh, kind of to show you what I went through the last couple days uh, without having, you know, without having a GUI at all. It was, uh, it was interesting. It was a learning experience. I, it was a learning experience. It was, it was, it was kind of fun when it was okay. It was fun when things went well. It was not fun when I had to, uh, you know, search for commands or uh, very specific reasons why things weren't working in a very specific way. And if I get into those, we'll uh, we'll get there. All right, but first, let's uh, get into this installation. And since we're doing the uh, no extra graphical packages, we're going to uh, do this second line here. So sudo apt install. Actually, I'm just going to copy and paste this. I'm just, I'm just going to grab this second line. Uh, so we're installing the QEMU system, libvirt clients, and the libvirt daemon system. Oh, I think I may need to update this. So sudo apt update. Yes, I definitely need to run an update. Sudo apt dist upgrade. Sudo apt dist upgrade dash y. And I'm not entirely sure uh, the difference between you know just a sudo update and a sudo dist update. Uh, there's a YouTube channel, Learn Linux TV. Uh, he always seems to do... Well, he does a lot of things in Ubuntu, but um, it's Ubuntu is based on Debian, so I imagine it, the reason should still hold up. But he always seems to do a... Uh, when he does an update, he does a dist upgrade. Um, I assume it just ensures that everything is kind of cohesive together, but I'm not really sure. And we'll just uh, be back when this is done. Okay, and now that we have all the updates done, let's just make sure that they're all applied and do a reboot. Okay, here we are. Booted back up, and let's open up to where we left off. I believe we failed to install this, most likely because some things were... Out of date. Uh, so let's try this install command again. Yes, please do all of those things. And again, we'll be back when this is done. Okay, and now that we have all of those installed, uh, there is actually one more thing I'm going to want to do before we uh, get in with the installation of... Uh, virtual machine that's I'm going to want to create a network bridge on this virtual machine just to pass into the virtual machine for it uh, Just so it's not using the default uh, network because I don't like to use that now that I know how to use uh, bridges uh, So let's go on to netplan.io slash examples And jump down to where we build bridges. Here we go. Configuring a network bridge. Okay. Well, essentially, we just want to say DHCP for no. And then create a bridges subcategory. VR0. Interfaces. And we just want to tell it to use the. I believe I need a space there. Uh, just tell it to use that. And that should be everything since we already have the. Uh, static IP address, we essentially just shifted everything down a little bit, and now the bridge has the static IP address associated with it, and the uh, Ethernet port, uh, ENP1S0, uh, will have a master of BR0. Or at least that's, that's how it should work. Uh, so let's sudo apply, or netplan apply, and check out our 
IP address. So we have BR0 as 192.168.42.50. And this should have master of BR0. Okay, so that seemed to work. Let's make sure that we can still access the internet. Oh. It helps if you do the full domain name. And there we go, we're getting response back. So we're still connected to the internet, uh, and you'll see uh, up here, we're actually not connected to uh, our ENP1S0 anymore. So let's let's update that so it fixes sudo vim and that would be dot config polybar uh, config and it'd be under the eth section there it is and interface to change this to br0 and if we well, what if we just kill it and then start it up again Okay, I don't, I don't know why it wasn't killing the process as it was supposed to, but working now. Ah, uh, so where were we? Yes, please restore those sessions. So we don't need that anymore. Uh, so now we're going to want to add our username to the libvert group. So sudo add user sky knight to libvert. There we go. And then you can run versh list all or dash dash all to see all of the current uh, domains that you have active on your computer or inactive for that matter. We don't have any right now because we literally just installed this. We, we, we can run it. It'll say there's, not, there's nothing there. See, nothing there. And now we're going to be creating a new guest. So. We're going to want to install a couple extra things here. Uh, just because I have I know that I'm going to need them because I've run into this issue before. Uh, a couple days ago, or yesterday, actually. Um, so, we're going to want to install a package called OVMF. This will enable you to uh, create UEFI virtual machines. Uh, QEMU utils. I don't remember what that was for, but it was required to do something that we're going to do. And then vert install or vert inst. Uh, that's what's actually going to be run to you know install these applic or to 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 create the um virtual machines this will all it'll it'll make much more sense when we go over vert manager as well and i believe that is what we need for now and we'll be back when that's done okay and then what i did when i was setting up my uh, virtual machines on my server on my headless server um I did everything through command line, so we're going to do it the same way. So I made a directory in my home folder called scripts. And inside of that, I created a script called uh, create virtual machine. So vim create. Okay. Now inside of this, um, I got a lot of the things uh, through here. So in this script, we're going to essentially copy most of what we have right here. We're going to add a few more things. Uh, so sudo vert install. And this is when it is handy to open up another terminal and just have the man page for vert install open so vert type you're you're gonna want to do kvm if you're on linux i don't know why you would want to do anything other than kvm so vert type kvm name 
Uh, this is whatever you want to call or whatever you want it this uh, virtual machine to be referred to in the system. Uh, and this, I will call it um, Bare Bones to Beautiful VM. VM VM. Because it's a virtual machine inside of a virtual machine. Crazy. Okay. Uh, and we're going to be uh, following the second one. Uh, the first couple, or the first one or two that we're going to be setting up. Uh, we're not going to be having any graphical environment. It's just going to be essentially a headless virtual machine on, on a headless server, or just pretending that the terminal right now is our, our headless server that we're SSH'd into. Uh, so we're going to call it uh, BBTB barebones to beautiful dash virtual machine dash virtual machine. And this, uh, this back tick, the, uh, this is essentially a, a line continuance. I, this is the best way that I can describe it. And instead of having to download an ISO, I am just going to, oops. Uh, instead of having to download an ISO, I'm going to use this net install uh, URL address. Except I'm going to make one change because I don't want to install Buster because that's old. I want to install Bullseye because that's the current one. And you can actually I should just be able to open this up in my browser, right? We fixed that, didn't we? Oh, maybe I didn't fix that from my. Anyway, we can uh, just copy paste here. Uh, so what it's going to do is it's going to basically go to this website. I assume it's just going to look in this folder. I'm not entirely sure how the location works, but it'll find it in that folder and it'll just work out. Okay, one of the strange things about this is that the Debian 11 uh, is not aware that Debian 11, or at least uh, this uh, this version of uh, Vertinstall, is not aware that uh, Bullseye has come out. Uh, so if you try to do Debian 11, which would be Bullseye, uh, it will say that it's not a thing. Uh, so you have to do Debian testing. I guess you don't have to do Debian testing. I don't. I don't think that this is actually necessary at all. It doesn't really affect the outcome of it, but it, it's nice to. Uh, it keeps it more concise or uh, up accurate anyway. So disk size and do 10 gigabytes. Actually, how much space do I have on this virtual machine? Uh, so to see your current space, you can just run uh, DF. And so it looks like, oh, let's do a human readable DF dash H. So I have so I've only used five gigs. So actually, I'm just going to give this five gigs as well. So give that five gigabytes of storage. Uh, let's give it 2048. Yeah, because 4096 would be four gigs. Okay, I think that's right. Okay, so two gigs of memory or two gigs of RAM. Graphics, none. And if you're not running this on a, you know, a headless system, or you, know, you just want to see what the options are, uh, you can just search for uh, graphics on here, and it can go through the different types. So we have VNC, Spice, and none. Uh, if you've built something with Virtual Manager before, same things. So graphics, none. Console, PCY, and target. And I'm not entirely sure what uh, the, what these next two lines do. Oh, God dang it. 
uh, this console PTY and this extra args. I know that they're required for you to be able to uh, actually connect to the uh, the headless virtual machine, but I I just have I haven't been bothered to actually look them up because they've just worked. Okay, so a couple things that we're going to want to do as well. Uh, so we want this to be UEFI. So if we just search for UEFI, uh, it's fairly easy to do. You just add a dash dash boot UEFI flag. Dash dash boot UEFI. And let's say that we want to uh, pass in a uh, kind of a directory from our host system. Uh, to do that, you'll want to search for, uh, I believe it's just file system. And go to the right, correct place somewhere. There it is. So we're going to do file system. And what do we want to pass in? Let's pass in my scripts folder. Uh, so the first kind of parameter to file system is the source folder. So home, sky night, scripts, and then on the on the host. Um, since we're doing QEMU, uh, this isn't an actual folder location. It's just like a, a mounting hint. Um, it's yeah, actually, that's exactly what it is. So for QEMU, the target point is just a mounting hint. Uh, so it won't be automatically mounted, uh, but when you go to mount it, uh, that will be kind of the name of the uh, device. So let's just call it scripts because that's what it's going to end with. Uh, so scripts, and then type, mount, mode, mapped, and you can see these uh, here. So it's either a mount or a template. I don't know what this is. Um, mount is the default and it works. Uh, for access mode, uh, pass through and squash just haven't worked for me when I've wanted to actually make changes to the file system. Uh, mapped does because it will actually run as the uh, libvirt kvm user, uh, which is what we want. Okay, so that's file system. Okay, we want to tell it how many CPUs we're using. Uh, so in this case, I have access to 24 because I'm passing in 24. Uh, we're just going to give it two. Uh, and we're also going to want to set uh, how our CPUs are being used. So if we Look first. Here we go. Uh, so we're going to do CPU host dash pass through cache that mode equal pass through. So this will essentially, uh, instead of virtualizing the calls, uh, the system calls, it's going to work directly on the host operating system. Uh, so in this case, the virtual machine is going to request that it's going to be run on the bare metal of the virtual machine that it's being hosted in. However, the virtual machine that's being hosted in is also passed through. So that is going to request that that's going to be uh, run on the bare metal of the you know, host operating system, the Debian that's running all this. I don't know uh, what sort of degradation there would be in performance for you know, multiple layers of pass through, but I guess we'll find out, right? I think that's it. Okay, so let's write and quit that out. Now we need to make that executable. Okay, and if we did everything correctly, we should just be able to run it.
All right. And here we are dropped into our uh, new installation of a Debian virtual machine inside of our virtual machine. I'll close these other windows just so that it has... Don't warn me about that. I don't care. And, uh, I mean, there's nothing going to be anything special about this installation. I'm going to set it up the same way that I set up this virtual machine. Uh, there's going to be no UI or uh, anything like that in it. Uh, it's just going to have the uh, basic server utilities. Uh, I'll see you on the other side. Okay, that didn't get too far before I realized that I did something wrong. Uh, so I didn't tell it what uh, network to use. So let's uh, change that. And pop open the man page for vert install. Search for network. Next, 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 next. Man, it's somewhere. Here it is. Okay. So we're going to want to pass in dash dash network. Or you could just do dash w. But this is more readable. And we're going to want to pass it in our bridge. So bridge equals br0. Okay, and then I don't think that created... Oh, another thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to tell it where we want this created at. Uh, so normally it goes CD var... var? Oh, it's in lib. All right, so let's just delete this since it already created it. And now let's uh, delete that because if we look at... Uh, Versh list dash dash all, it should still probably be there. Okay, so it's still actually running. So sudo shut down uh, oh, sudo versh. No, it's not shut down. We actually want to destroy it because I, since I deleted the uh, backing data for it, I doubt it's going to know what I'm talking about. So for sudo versh destroy bbtb slash vmvm. Okay, and now we want to uh, undefine it. Undefine. And cannot undefine a domain with nvram. That's fine. Just pass in dash dash nvram as a flag, and it'll be undefined. So now if we look back, we don't have any verse here. Okay, so go back to our regular user. Back into scripts, and let's keep working on this. So we have our network bridge now. We also need to tell it where we're creating this at. Oh, is that up at the top? Oh, of course, it's in the uh, it's in the disk section. Why wouldn't it be? Uh, I remember this. So, and I think the next is just a path. Oh, so actually, actually, the path first. Home. Sky night. Um. Actually, you know what? Let's make it easier. Path equals home. Sky night. Um. Virtual machines. And let's call this uh, bbtb vm vm dot. Actually, I don't. I just need to do the directory. I don't tell it what the file name is. Okay, so I need to create that virtual machine directory. So make a directory virtual machines. Okay, so we're telling it where it is now. We're telling it to use the bridge network. Okay. Now we should be good. This is why I uh this is why I created a script, because there's a lot of things you have to remember for uh what you want done. Oh, what is this? Vert install name. What didn't it like about you then? Well, let's 
do this the way that it's suggested first. And, oh, am I forgetting? I think it's complaining because I'm never actually finishing the line. Oh, and it helped if I spell bridge correctly. Oh. Specifying non exist. Oh, do I have to do an actual path then? BBTB VM VM dot Q. Cow two. Oh, okay, that was it. So you want to if if it doesn't already exist, you want to actually do the full name of it. Okay, now we'll be back um, once it's done. <laughs> 